Hello everybody and welcome to Age Whiskey. My name is Dave and today is tasting day. Today, we are tasting our surface area experiments. This is a two week taste. So we started this on 214. Today is 31. So we're tasting all this, we're testing it to see if it's, if it's changing the flavors, see where we're at. Full disclosure, I shot my first uh, one week in tasting of all these four and uh, the footage didn't really come out well. It turned out really horrible and it just wasn't, wasn't a good thing. Let's, let's kick this thing off. We're gonna start with the stave first. So here's the stave. Uh, first off, here's the color. See that? Hope you can. We're gonna take four milliliters, throw it in a Glencairn and see what it tastes like. That's four. Okay, set that aside. And we're gonna go on to cubes. If I had to say if there's a difference in color between these guys, I'm thinking this one's a little bit darker. This is the cubes. So this is the stave right here. So I think that might be just a little bit darker. Again, we're gonna do four milliliters into a Glencairn. It's almost some butter coming off of that one. The smell. That's so crazy. Now we move into the chips. The chips are clearly darker than everything so far. Those chips are super dark. Shocker though, that will not be the darkest you see. Four. And the dreaded sawdust. Look at the color on this. Um, when we go to finish this, I'm going to need to squeeze out the, the sawdust. Oh man, I already know what this tastes like and I'm not excited about trying it. Okay. Four milliliters. Yo, I'm about to show you a video of each glass and the color that you can see the difference and change. It's amazing. Totally different. Uh, not a ton of difference between the stave and cubes, but after that it falls off very quick. So surface area and color alone is a massive change, massive difference. Right, here we have the stave, the cube, the chips, and the sawdust. Let's go through and taste each one. So I'm gonna work on the stave first. The smell is, so this is the mash one by White Dog. It's been aging for two weeks on uh, on a stave, a one by one by three stave. Not getting a lot of, of uh, flavor there off the nose. Getting some of that, uh, some of that caramel over there. Um, it's a, definitely the sweeter. I was just tasting the rye, so it's totally different than a rye. But you're getting a lot of that same oakiness kind of come through on it. Remember that oak was uh, toasted at 320 degrees for two hours. Getting some of that sweet sugary kind of almost candy-ish like on here, but it's not, it's not overpowering. It's very subtle. It's, it's not, not overpowering in any way. Okay, now let's move on to smelling the, the cubes. Ooh, yeah, that butter's popping out. So I'm getting a ton of, so you got that, that sweet kind of uh, beginning kind of almost like a, I'm almost getting a, a honey butter. Uh, you ever have some of that honey butter spread? That butter is really coming through on that. Okay, let's move on to chips. Here's our chips. Oh, kind of, it's starting to get a little over oaked. I'm, I'm getting a lot more, um, even some smoky on, on there, which is so weird because they're all, nothing was charred. The sweet's on the front side, but it's super tiny. Totally overpowered by oak. Okay, let's smell the sawdust. Hmm. Sawdust, I'm picking up some of that butter note in there. They're not sitting next to each other, I guarantee. It's not as sweet, not as sweet smelling as I'm catching off the other ones. 
Those caramel notes are really kind of like cut out. Not getting a lot of fruit in there. Damn, I'm getting some of that, that butter kind of pop in there. That's really strange. All right, let's go into the taste. Okay, let's go for the stay first. I'm getting some of the raisins. Okay, getting a little bit of dark chocolate, uh, cinnamons, cinnamons coming through. All right, let's move on to the cubes. You can definitely tell this is a new, uh, going, I'm sorry, going back to the stave. This definitely tastes new make. It definitely tastes super raw. It's not, not a finished product. You can kind of get that, uh, oh, it needs to sit a little bit longer. Uh, it doesn't have the, the finishes still super bright and sharp and kind of like um, a little jagged, but you know, it's a higher proof. It's 125. <clears throat> Butterscotch almost, a little candies. Remember, this is the same oak, the same whiskey. I mean, the oak came off the exact same wood. It's so crazy how these, they were toasted in the oven together. Oh, boy, that's, that's a better taste. You're getting a lot more richer, richer taste in here than on this guy on the, uh, on the stave. You're starting to get some of those complex backsides that are, uh, Really kind of coming together. I'm going to do that again. That was good. Boy, that's that's coming in smooth. That's coming in really nice. The, the butter is not really there on the taste. It's more of a smell kind of thing. And you can kind of taste that. You, you can tell the difference when you smell it and you're tasting it at the same time. So the butter is still kind of there. But it's really in the candies and the sweetness. And the, I guess there is a butterscotch taste that's coming on that. Not getting a lot of, I mean, maybe a little bit of like really tart apple kind of, but it does kind of clean off and it smooths off that edges uh, of that apple. But boy, that's, that's not too bad there. Now we move into, um, <clears throat> this would be the chips. It still has got that over oaked, uh, over smoke a little bit, but it is, it does smell a lot better. I mean, one of the heaviest notes in there are the, the campfire kind of smokiness, not a peat smoke, more of a campfire. The finish is terrible. The, the dry note that kind of like just pulls everything out of your, your mouth and just, <clears throat> that's not delicious. That's not tasty at all. It started off really nice. Like it was super interesting and then it just flattened out and just dropped off and it was, uh, smoke took over smoke absolutely took over and I'm a Lafroy guy. So. I enjoy a good smoke. This is a bad dry, uh, killed, killed the whiskey kind of idea. Boy, the finish is just, just horrible. That's, that's bad. That's horrible. That's bad. <clears throat> it's so hard to describe the front side because it's, it's peaceful. And then it's like, ah, you know, it's almost like I'm taking everything from you. It's almost like a Viking. <laughs> Lastly, this right here is our, our sawdust. I'm getting a lot of the, uh, the ethanol kind of pop on that one. I am still getting a little bit of that butter the next time around. Not a lot of sweet in there. I'm not kidding. I, I thought I would get a ton more flavor uh, off the smell anyway. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And it gets worse. <laughs> so this one. <laughs> I've got to rinse before I can talk. Oh, so <clears throat> the, the ride on this one is it started off like it was going to be possibly something. Uh, the mid taste just crashed the floor super dry, no flavor that I can discern in terms of like being something pleasant. Um, it chokes, it chokes all the, uh, <clears throat> all the flavor out of you. It steals it from you. Uh, if you thought the, uh, chips were bad, this is, this is at least that and a half. <sighs> I'm gonna do it one more time. <clears throat> this is part of the job. That's not fun.
Ugh. My mouth, my tongue literally just total dryness, total. And it's so hard to taste something when it goes that dry like that. And it's, uh, this is, this is terrible. And the fact that I have, what, two more tastings on these guys? <laughs> Just to give you guys a little kind of where I'm at with this. The cubes look really interesting so far. I'm really surprised with how the cubes are coming out. It's kind of rounding things out. It's not as sharp as the stave. It's not as jagged uh, in terms of like stealing things from your mouth, like the chips and the sawdust are. So I think, uh, I think cubes have a chance. Um, I think over time the stave is going to win. I would hope so. But within a month, I think we have, uh, we might have a winner on the cubes. Anyway, thank you all for coming and watching this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> and seeing my pain. <laughs> Finally, as we always do, cheers y'all to better whiskey. Ah, so much better than sawdust. <laughs>